from the highly anticipated release date of the movie starring Marvel's first ever family, to whether or not the Avengers and the Fantastic Four gangs will team up, this is absolutely everything you need to know about the upcoming Fantastic Four movie. Now, you may want to sit down for this one. After eight years, a brand new Fantastic Four movie is well on the way. If you're a fan of Marvel's first family, this will likely be fantastic news for you, especially since the last movie, which was released in 2015, infamously was horrible, only receiving a 9% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Yikes! Now, Kevin Feige has confirmed that Marvel's first family will be the first project of Marvel Phase 6. While that still may seem far away, the details we know so far about the upcoming Fantastic Four movie mean there's plenty to get excited about, including potential appearances from the Avengers. We told you you'd want to sit down for this one. So without further ado, let's get straight into everything you need to know about the upcoming Fantastic Four movie. First and foremost, the question on everyone's mind, the release date. When can we expect this Marvel movie to grace our screens? Well, as we just mentioned, it'll be a part of Phase 6. This means that Fantastic Four will now be released on February 14, 2025, Valentine's Day. Now, if you've been glued to all the updates, then you may have noticed that it was first slated for a November 2024 release, as had been initially stated by none other than Kevin Feige at San Diego Comic-Con. But as we are all aware of by now, Marvel is notorious for changing their release dates, not once, but multiple times. So cross your fingers and toes that this does not happen with Fantastic Four. Come on guys, it's been 8 years. Well, 16 years since a good Fantastic Four movie dropped. Now, we know 2 years feels like a long time to wait, but it should be well worth it, especially considering all the potential crossovers, but more on that later. Speaking about the OG Fantastic Four films, who can we expect to see in terms of cast members? Well, let's start with what you're all thinking. Does John Krasinski's appearance as Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, in Doctor Strange 2 confirm his casting for the movie? I mean, he is a central part of the Fantastic Four franchise. Can you imagine a good Fantastic Four movie without Krasinski? We can't. Now, unfortunately, Krasinski hasn't officially been chosen to play Reed Richards, but we wouldn't be surprised if he lands the role once again. The majority of the characters we've seen in the multiverse have all been portrayed by the same actor. It just makes it 10 times better and keeps the same hype and anticipation when waiting for its release. It's also still two years away, so of course Marvel doesn't want to release too much information too early. Why ruin the anticipation? Now, for the remainder of the Fantastic Four primary cast, well, we really will just have to wait and see. Although it was anticipated that the cast would be announced at the D23 Expo in September 2022, that did not happen. Typical Marvel move, to be honest. But this doesn't mean we can't talk about the characters we'll see. In the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, expect to see Sue Storm, aka The Invisible Woman, another founding member of the Fantastic Four, and also Mr. Fantastic's wife. After being exposed to cosmic radiation, she's gifted with the power of invisibility as well as being able to create force fields. Famously, she's been played by Jessica Alba and Kate Mara, although neither actress had shared a desire to reprise the role, which is sad. What a throwback it would be to see Alba back in the hot seat. Now, interestingly, fans have been speculating if Emily Blunt who happens to be Krasinski's wife in real life, could take on the role. She pretty infamously had to turn down the role of Black Widow due to a scheduling issue, which later went to Scarlett Johansson. And she and Krasinski have a history of working together on screen in the past, famously appearing together in the A Quiet Place movies. But unfortunately, Emily Blunt already shot down the rumor mill that she should play Sue Storm. So, who could play the leading lady? We'll just have to wait and see. Our next big casting question is, and I'm sure one of yours, what about Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch? You know, the guy who can light himself on fire? He's also Sue's younger brother. So who can we expect to fill those shoes? 
Well, as of right now, there have been no rumors regarding the casting of this part. Chris Evans and Michael B. Jordan previously played the part, but given that Evans went on to land a pretty major MCU role as Captain America, it's highly unlikely that he'll return to his position as the Human Torch. But maybe he will be a part of the film as Captain America. That would be iconic. As for Jordan, he famously plays Eric Killmonger, a brand new member of the MCU in the massive box office hit Black Panther. Because of all this, a new casting for the role is anticipated. Who could it be? Will they be able to find someone who can live up to Evans' performance in particular? That'll be a hard job. Now, it's also a similar story with Ben Grimm, aka The Thing. It's highly unlikely that the OG Michael Chiklis will reprise the role, but actor Jamie Bell certainly could. What do you think? Now, since we've touched on the cast, or lack thereof, what exactly do we know about the storyline? There's definitely a lot of ways they could go about this. The Phase 6 Fantastic Four movie is essentially a relaunch of the OG, therefore all possibilities are on the table. But we must note, the Genesis narrative has already been depicted a few times, so it appears that the upcoming film will probably completely exclude it. Smart choice. Fans want something new, but they still want the essence of the OG Fantastic Four. If they stay away from the origin story route as intended, there will need to be a compelling rationale for why they haven't appeared before now, rather than lending a hand in earlier world-ending situations in the Avengers films. Of course, they can avoid that altogether if this Fantastic Four team exists in another universe. Maybe the team just never got together in Earth-616. Or even bleaker, they're all dead in the main universe. Yikes! That would be a sad realization, but it would also mean they wouldn't need to worry about addressing any of those big questions about where the heck they've been. Additionally, the new film has a ton of potential antagonists, including Namor, the Silver Surfer, Galactus, Doctor Doom, and, who can forget, Clert. Not surprisingly, we've been given absolutely no clues or hints. So of course, fan theories have been running rampant. But what do we know? Do we know who is directing the iconic movie? Well, it was originally planned for the Spider-Man No Way Home filmmaker John Watts to lead the film, which was excellent news given the kind of films he has already produced for the MCU. Groundbreaking, award-winning films to be exact. Sadly though, he withdrew from the Fantastic Four reboot because he had decided he wanted to take a break from superhero movies for a bit. Fair. So, who's replacing him? At the time of writing, Matt Shackman's direction of the film appears likely. But the scary part is that he has only directed one film, the very mediocre 2014 thriller Cut Bank. Although he has served as director on numerous TV shows, including the Marvel series WandaVision. Last but not least, will we see the Fantastic Four gang and the Avengers team up? Well, with the latest Fantastic Four movie happening at a crucial point in the multiverse saga, and no X-Men movie being announced so far, the heroes of the Fantastic Four are set to be crucial to Avengers The Kang Dynasty, aka the fifth Avengers movie. After 10 years in which the MCU had nothing but Avengers and associated characters to build their franchise, Marvel Studios now gets to take advantage of this and use mutants and the Fantastic Four team. Can you imagine how amazing this will be? Our favorite characters all together in one place. Iconic! So, from the official release date of the upcoming Fantastic Four movie, to whether or not the Avengers and Fantastic Four gangs will collaborate, this is everything you needed to know about Marvel's first family.